What number is 6 units to the right of x plus y? What kind of information would you need in order to answer this question? I'm, I'm thinking if I knew where x plus y is on the number line, then I could just go 6 units to the right of that and get the answer. So I would rephrase this question to what is the sum of x plus y? I'm going to go ahead and say that neither statement is sufficient on its own because statement 1 gives us the difference of x and y and knowing the difference between two points on the number line does not allow us to infer their sum. And statement 2 gives us the ratio of x to y, but knowing the ratio of two points on the number line also does not allow us to infer their sum. So this is down to answer choices C versus E. So let's finish it off right after the intro. So when we combine statements, we know two things. We know the difference between x and y, and we also know their ratio. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, if I know the difference of two numbers on the number line, and I also know their ratio, would that be enough to infer their sum? And it's a bit tricky because if we truly only knew the difference between the numbers without knowing which one is bigger and which one is smaller, that actually would not be sufficient to infer their sum because we wouldn't know which side of zero the numbers are on. Specifically in this case, we're told that one of them is twice as big as the other, and the difference between them, let's say, is three. Well, are they three and six, or are they negative three and negative six? We wouldn't know. But statement one doesn't just give us the difference between them, it also implies which is bigger and which is smaller. The smaller of the two numbers is also the number that's twice as far from zero. And of course, we know the two numbers are on the same side of zero because their ratio is positive. We can infer that these numbers sit to the left of zero in the number line. In this case, specifically, they'd be negative six and negative three. And so their sum would be negative nine. And so the thing that the question is asking about, which is six units to the right of that, would be negative 3. But it's interesting to point out that if statement 1 did not imply the relative order of x and y, if it just told us that the difference between them is 3, then we wouldn't know whether we're on the right side of 0 or on the left side of 0, and then we'd actually get two different possible answers to the question. We'd have the negative 3 from before, and we'd also have 15, because if x and y are both positive, such that one is 3 greater than the other, and the ratio is 2 to 1, well then there'd be 3 and 6, whose sum is 9, and the point that's 6 units to the right of that is 15. So again, in this case, because we were given the relative order of x and y, we were able to infer which side of 0 they're on, and for that reason there's only one possible answer to this question, and therefore the correct answer is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.